Yo, so if you're trying to make a gold find barb, do it this way. Starting with War Cries. Max find potion, put enough points into find items so you get to about 70 plus percent chance. Get your points all the way down to battle orders, max it. One point in battle command, combat masteries, max blade mastery, one point in each of these one point wonders, they're a must have. Combat skills, one point all the way down to berserk, all the rest of our points go into berserk. Easy. So we're using berserk as our main damage. Of course your stats, I just need enough to wear my gear. So I'm using a storm shield, which requires 156 strength, and I'm using phase blades, which require 136 dex. Everything else goes straight into vitality. Quick look at the gear. Storm Shield makes you invincible, basically. Socketed with a limb for more gold find. Immortal Kings, amazing item. Gold find, magic find. Socketed with the Cham Rune as our source of cannot be frozen. High Lords, attack speed, deadly strike, speeds things up. Grief, it's a must have. You do so much damage with it. Chains of Honor, all res. Between these two items here, Storm Shield and, and Chains of Honor, you're basically invulnerable, which is great. Laying of hands, extra damage, attack speed, fire res. Dual dwarf star, oh, I don't have that equipped right now. Dual dwarf star is a must have, right? Gold find, fire absorb. Belt, you can use gold wrap, but you can eventually upgrade to some nice rare belt like this. This isn't the best one particularly, but gives you an idea of what you want. Uh, hit recovery, you know, strength is always nice, or life, resistances, extra gold find. Same with the boots, very similar, run walk, res, gold find. That's the goal. With the gold, with all the gold that we're getting, we can gamble for these nice upgrades, and that's what I've slowly been doing. Looking at the charms, just max it out on gold find. That's all we want, all gold find. Of course, with your torch and your ante. I do have a mercenary. You don't need a merc at all for this build, which is a great, great plus side. But you know, at this point, you may as well use it. it helps speed it up slightly. Mine's not fully done, but he has grief. He has an eth ariets that sh which isn't even socketed with anything yet. But I will put a cham in there eventually, a cham rune. A uh, lightsaber, that will be a second grief. And then Guardian Angel, that's a, an awesome, awesome item on your Merc. And Trav, that alone will keep him alive, pretty much. Look at the stats real fast. When we're on our Horking Swap, oh, I didn't show that actually. On Swap, we have two Crystal Swords, each with six Lem Runes in it for a massive bump in Gold Find. So when we're on this Swap, we have just under 1,900%, which is pretty good. I'd say that's almost comparable to some of the other builds that rely on your mercenary to get the kill. But with the sheer speed that we clear Trav at, that difference is, uh, you know, you can't even compare it. We're making significantly more gold doing the killing ourselves. All right, let's clear Trav once and get an idea of how it looks. It looks like my Merc is getting some damage out, so that does speed things up slightly, but as I said, he's honestly not even needed. Alright, so Trav is dead. So now we Hork. Oh, there's a small charm. Alright, and the tally is 660,000. So that's pretty good. That was what? Maybe like 45 seconds for over 600k? Multiply that by the hour and we're looking pretty solid. Another great thing about this build is that we're not limited to Trav only compared to a lot of other gold find builds. We can really do whatever. Now, like I said, this is a fairly expensive build, but once you get the items, it's really the only way to play it. So we could easily slap on an Enigma, swap out the Crystal Swords for some Wiz Spikes, and put on a 10 FCR ring in replacement of one of our Dwarf Stars, and just like that, we are a Pit Zerker. So we can now teleport at max frames at 110 FCR, and pretty much clear any content in the game that we want. So we can do Chaos, we can do Andy, Mef, uh, Pits, obviously, uh, really anything. So that's the, uh, that's the plus side of this build, is that we're not limited to Trav, and you can actually play the game and have fun and not just watch your Merc do stuff. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. As you can see, we can use our Howl and just play like we're a Pit Zerker. There we go. So yeah, enjoy the build. I'm telling you, once you play Gold Find like this, you will never play it any other way. So enjoy and get rich.